Hey guys and welcome back to another video and I hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today to take a quick look at the Lee and Lee Lancool 2. This case is just awesome and I'll share with you why and on this picture right over here not checking it out but on this angle you can check it right over here now besides the case we will be talking about two accessories which is the streamer and streamer plus which we can see right over here on the motherboard and also on the gpu but that is something that we will talk a little bit further down on the video and that being said if you are looking for a really nice PC case then stay tuned and let's go for it Now before we begin, don't forget to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Wondershare Doctor Phone. Now it's available for iOS and Android and we can do phone backups, restore to and from our Windows or Mac computers. We can do data recovery, phone transfers, system repairs such as black screens, boot loops, especially on Android phones and a lot more. Now there's a free trial version. I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out and see for yourself if it's the software that you want to use or not. And now taking a look at the Lancool 2. Now this case is just awesome. In terms of build quality, it is and feels and looks really premium it's all made of aluminium there are a few plastics here and there but all with really nice quality and then we have glass on the front which is opened right now that i can close it right over here and glass right over here tempered glass of course and tempered glass on the other side as well now one of the things that i really enjoyed in this particular case it's the way that we can work with it really easy and i'll show you right over here if i open or close this panel and then just open this one i'm ready to work on my case which is just awesome and i can do the same on the back part of the case the front the front part is also removable actually if you have missed the video regarding the uh, building of this computer i will leave a link somewhere around over here and all the components will be down below on the video description so one of the things that i really enjoy in this particular case it's beside its size which will allow me to put everything together have in mind that's a bit heavier but you can check the specifications down below but besides the space besides looking great because it does in my opinion it has this option to really easily assemble a computer and talking about assembling a computer Computer. the link will be right over here but my feedback is that it's really easy now one of the best cases that I've seen so far in terms of ease of use and besides being really easy because it has the space it has the functionality it has no screws that we need well it has a few screws but not that much and in terms of cable management which is one of the last things that we usually talk on videos but i can say right now that cable management in this particular case it's a no-brainer we have a few panels right over here that we remove we can work on the case and then when we want to hide those cables just put the panels back and we have a great case and especially because it also has glass on the back side so it looks just awesome in terms of airflow it also really nice it comes with three fans really silent fans at this moment i'm only using two uh, i'm using a radiator 240 millimeters from nzxt on the front and then one uh, fan at the front and then one fan at the back but i could use fans right over here on the top because we have this airflow that comes in this side right over here and then flows through the computer and goes back right over here we also have a filter down below so that i can use my psu to uh, get air in and then push it out at the back of course we have several ways of using well at least two ways of using the uh, psu pushing or pulling in air depending on the way that we want both on the bottom and also on the top we have dust filters so it will protect the case from entering any dust right over here now if you love leds then this case is also great on that and of course it depends on the components that we are going to use but the case itself as you can see right over here at the top at the front sorry it has these two mesh grills right over here that will 
lighten up with LEDs that we will control manually here on the case itself. It has a lot of presets and a lot of colors so we will have almost anything that we want on our setup. In my particular case I'm really simple, I love red as you can see on this image but if you would prefer any other color, solid, breathing or any other preset then just great. And then of course in my particular setup I also have uh, LEDs light up on the GPU, I also have on my CPU cooler on the RAM uh, GPU, I'm not sure if I mentioned or not, and then the uh, streamer and steamer plus right over here for the GPU and the motherboard and also on the motherboard itself right over here. And we will talk about the streamer and streamer plus in just a few moments. Now to wrap up here on the case, in terms of storage we will have 3x3.5 3 inch hard drive space and we can replace those 3.5 by 2.5 inch SSDs if we want to. Now the cage of the hard drives will move left and right depending if we want more space for our PSU or not and this is great especially if you are using a PSU with a lot of cables or a non-modular PSU then we will have a lot of space to work and if you don't want to use 3.5 inch hard drives we can even remove the cage and problem solve. In terms of the case basically this is it. Now if you want to enrich the case with a few more LEDs and of course it depends in, in my particular case you already have seen I've got a few components with LEDs but imagine if I don't have none then the streamer and streamer Plus, it's a great choice uh, to have a little pointer right over here or right over there and it's really easy to assemble nothing really complicated the only thing that we have to think of cables are like an extension for the motherboard cable and for the GPU cable so basically this is it And for the motherboard we will have a back I.O. that will control the colors, the speed, the brightness and we have a lot of presets as well. But for the GPU extension cable what we will find right over there is a connector that we will put on our motherboard and then with the motherboard software we will control the colors or the brightness or the effects that we want and of course depending on the motherboard we will have a lot of presets but this in particular case I'm using the Biostar B460 GTA which has a lot of options as, as you can see you will find definitely the look that you want for your case and basically that is it. In terms of the streamer and streamer plus, it's a great add-on at a fair price. I will leave links down below. And in terms of the case, I do believe that for the price, it's actually a great deal because we will find everything that we want on the case. Now, at the end of the day, it will be a matter of do I like this case or not? But I do believe that all the features that it has, it will add to that liking level. And honestly, it's a great case for the price that it costs with all these features guys hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual and very appreciated thumbs up right over there my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one